Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. This is the weekly design challenge week three. This is a discord hosted weekly design challenge. So you can sign up via the link in the description. And if you want to learn more about how this works, there'll be a card on the screen that will give you a video detailing everything about the design challenge, as well as in the Discord, I have a chat that tells you all the rules and everything as well. So this week we're doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna give feedback and critique a few designs, but I'm also gonna have a showcase section at the end that showcases some of you guys' work. Again, everyone's social media links will be down in the description, so make sure you guys check them out and support them on their social media of choosing. So this week's theme was holiday slash Christmas theme websites. And there was a bit of confusion when I said holiday, I meant Christmas. Uh, so I apologize for that. I will try to be more clear when I tell you guys what the theme is for the week next time. Uh, so that is what the theme is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the designs. So for the first design of week three, this is from Remy Godet. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Again, if I mispronounce anyone's name, I do apologize. So there is a Behance link for Remy down in the description. It says, hi guys, today I present to you my Christmas website design for the third week of the weekly design challenge. I hope you enjoy the design. Thank you in advance for the comments. So first off, I would have liked to see more sections of this because I think you have a good layout going. But for these two sections, uh, I like what you have going. Um, it's a solid design. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a critique and take with that what you will. Again, it's just my opinions. Uh, so first off, the logo and the nav, I think are a little large, especially the navigation button. I feel it's a little large. And for the image you have here, you have all this sky available. You might wanna consider doing a full navigation up here. For the mountains that you've selected, it's a great image and it looks really nice on this hero section. I think you missed out on a great opportunity for a parallax effect with your text here. But the way it is is nice. I just don't like the little sparkles and the snow that you have on here. And you might also wanna to try to separate it a little bit more from the background, maybe some more drop shadow or increasing that drop shadow size a little bit. Other than that, you have a down arrow signaling to scroll down. That looks good. This section, I like how you have this cropped out. It blends really well with the white and that orange stripe in the background is really nice. I'm just not 100% sold on this shape. So that's really all I have for you on this design. Thank you for submitting it, great work. Again, Remy's Behance is linked down in the description. The next design was submitted by Punkage. Chakra Vati, sorry if I mispronounced that. This one is a Christmas themed sock store to keep your feet warm and happy. Any feedback will be highly appreciated. Punkage has a Behance link down in the description. So first off, let's take a look at the design. We have some kind of card system here. Tis the season, I like this. Very Christmas themed, fresh releases, 40% off, a most popular section and then you get a discount if you enter your email. That's a really nice touch. And then the footer. All right, so first off, the colors look good. The layout's nice. Overall, I really like the design. Uh, thank you for submitting it. Uh, let's just go into a little bit of a critique on this one. There's not a whole lot of feedback I can give you. Uh, just a few things you might want to take a look at. First off, this landing section is really nice. I would have some kind of sock product somewhere on here, however you want to display that. Uh, because when you load this up, it doesn't scream, we're selling socks. I get that they're in the background here and that's a really nice pattern you're using. Uh, but this card especially, I think should have some kind of sock on it. But I really do like how this snowflake is cut out. That's really cool. Uh, especially your numbers here. Uh, that's pretty cool how you're doing that as well. The fresh releases, I really don't have anything to say here. UI, UX wise, this is laid out really nice. I just don't like the hard edges on the socks. Uh, but uh, the full product view is nice. The 40% off card is great. The most popular section, same thing, looks really good. Uh, this section spaced out really well. And then you have the footer. So yeah, I don't really think there's much to say other than uh, great work. I like what you've done. Oh, right here, uh, this hard cut off on the pattern, you might want to fade this into white with a gradient. So have it 100% here and then like zero here. So it kind of fades in. Uh, you might want to try that just because the website flows really well and that's just kind of like the only hard line you have there. But other than that, really nice design. Thank you for submitting it. Punkage has a Behance link down in the description. This next design is submitted by Alzaid Abordi and there is a Behance link down in the description. So first off, for your first UI UX design project, I think you have a great start. So your layout is really solid and you have a good foundation here. I'm gonna give you as much feedback as I can, so hopefully you can find this helpful. 
Uh, so first off, I like the illustration. If you made that yourself, that's really nice work. One of my favorite illustrators does this style. So there's two areas that I would look into uh, moving forward from here. Uh, that is your typography and mainly just the sizing. I feel like this is a little too large of a font up here. And secondly is your color selection. So if you look at the green and the red in the illustration, it looks really nice. And you can tell that these were selected really well. Uh, so if you did this illustration, you do this great. Uh, but these buttons, uh, the green and the red are just too clashing. They just don't work well together. And actually green and red is very tricky to use in design. And most of the time you want to stay away from that. And that's really why I chose the Christmas theme is not only is Christmas like three days after this video, uh, but green and red are really tricky to use in design. And I wanted to see how people would use them. Another thing with the green and red like this, uh, people with certain types of colorblindness won't be able to tell the difference between this. Uh, here in the image, it won't be so bad, but where it's text on top of a background, it's going to be very difficult for them to see that. Uh, so that's another reason to stay away from that. So with the buttons, I would just change the text to a white color. For the navigation, I would change it to black. And as far as the overall color scheme goes, you might want to just sample the colors from this image to keep it nice and consistent. So that, I think that would give a pretty cool effect. Uh, so for the heading, I would grab the green on the Christmas tree and just kind of play with that and see how that works for you. Selecting colors can be really difficult and I actually spend quite a bit of time picking out my colors just to make sure uh, they're just as good as I can get them. Uh, so that's just an area I would look into. I uh, hope you found this feedback helpful. Again, Alzade has a Behance link down in the description. So for the critique and feedback area, this is gonna be the final one. And then we're gonna have the showcase area where I just kind of show off the designs as well. Again, all those people's link will be down in the description. Uh, this design was submitted by Tejman. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, this is my design for the week. It's a page where you can donate to the Freddie Foundation, a foundation that works for people who are homeless in these cold months. You can enter your email and receive an email that allows you to give a donation. I like the kind of uh, animated style you have here with the illustration of the trees. I like that, that looks pretty cool. Uh, this dark kind of blue theme uh, looks really nice. Uh, just some small things here. First off, I would honestly just take this entire logo and shrink it down a little bit. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of the over large navigations. Uh, so just shrink that down a little bit and try that out. Uh, the terms and privacy look good down here in the corner. That's kind of a nice touch to have that there. Uh, for the email field, I would lighten this up since it's not actually text that's input into the field yet. Uh, so lighten that up with like a lighter gray or just lower the opacity on this text a little bit. And for the button here, since it's different size of the text area, it looks a little off. So either uh, take this button and make it the same size as this input down here below, or you can take this and put it over here and maybe have a little square, the same color, just like a little email icon, or even take this button and put it over here somehow. Uh, so just work on that little input section. Other than that, I, I think the design looks really nice and I like the style you have it in. So uh, thank you for submitting that. Uh, you didn't actually provide a social media that I seen. Uh, so if you wanna get in contact with me on Discord, I will put that in the description for you. Uh, so Tejman, thank you for submitting that. Now here's some more great designs from this week. So that is it for week three of the weekly design challenge. Thanks to everyone who submitted and also thanks to everyone who helped and critiqued in the chat in discord. So let's take a look at the week four theme. So for week four, the theme is a redesign of YouTube, either the website or the app.
And the one rule with this one is stay in YouTube's branding. So this one you wanna focus on reimagining the UI and the layout and how everything on YouTube is presented, but using their existing logo and colors and type, et cetera. Uh, so just try to, your best to stay in their branding. I look forward to seeing your guys' work in week four. Again, make sure you guys try to get your posts in the Discord by Friday at 1 p.m. Sometimes I get on a little later, but if you post before 1 p.m., that can assure you have a chance to get in the video. So that's it for me in this video. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design-related content. I try to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.